What is trabectome? Where and how does it work? How is it similar but different from other mix procedures? Want to know what you need to know about the trabectome mix procedure? Keep watching to get answers so that you can confidently learn step by step about the latest glaucoma innovations and reduce MIGS overwhelm. Also, for those of you who are interested in gaining some MIGS success secrets on patient selection, surgical pearls, and post-operative management tips, well, stay tuned to the end of the video to get access to a free MIGS success secrets ebook. Hello, and welcome to the Eye Glaucoma YouTube channel. My name is Dr. Constance Okeke, creator of MIGS University. I have a passion for teaching others about glaucoma, and today I am really excited to share with you the first video of the new eye glaucoma series on trabectome with our focus on the what, where, and how. I have a special fondness for this MIGS device because it was how I entered into the MIGS space a decade ago back in 2009 and I still use it quite frequently to this day. It's a seasoned MIGS procedure, but in my opinion, not enough people know about its benefits. I was so enamored with the great outcomes I was giving my patients with trabectome that I wrote a book about it, which believe me was a labor of love. So with that being said, let's dive in and I'll share with you the best of what I know. So first up, the what. What is trabectome? It is the first microinvasive glaucoma surgery or MIGS device originally developed by Neomedics and recently acquired in 2019 by MST. Trabectome was FDA approved back in 2004, but was made commercially available in the United States in 2006. It was designed for the microsurgical management of open angle glaucomas with specified FDA clearance for surgical management of both adult and pediatric use. The device has been commercially available for almost 15 years and has been registered for use in nearly every continent globally. It is approved to be performed as a standalone procedure in phacic or pseudophagic patients, as well as in conjunction with cataract surgery, which makes it really versatile. Another way it is really versatile is that it has a CPT code of 65820 that is covered by just about every insurance. Have any of you in the audience ever heard about trabectome before today? Any of you ever tried it? Let me know in the comment box below. Type 1 for I've heard about it. Type 2 for I've tried it. Now, the where and how does the trabectome work? Similar to other MIGS goniotomy procedures, the action is in the angle and the target tissue is the trabecular meshwork, which is an area considered to be a major resistance to outflow. By utilizing the trabectome handpiece to pierce through the trabecular meshwork tissue and enter into Schlem's canal, both the trabecular meshwork and the inner wall of Schlem's canal can be unroofed to expose direct access to the outflow channels. This goniotomy technique allows for the removal of the resistant tissue and enhances access to the collector channels resulting in effectively lowered IOP for lengthy periods of time. Hey, I love feedback from you guys watching. If you're liking what you see so far, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. So how is the trabectome similar but different from other MIGS procedures? Now there are other MIGS procedures that have the same mechanism of action of the trabectome, which is a goniotomy procedure, removing that area of the high resistance. And those procedures are the Kahook dual blade, the goniotome, the omnisurgical system, and the GAT. Later on in the MIGS University series, we'll be talking more in depth about these procedures specifically. But to answer the how does the trabectome design differ from them is that it is comprised of an equipment system that allows for one, continuous irrigation, two, aspiration, and three, controlled electroablation. No other MIGS procedure currently utilizes all three of these features. In the next video, I will be breaking down why each of these features is beneficial and makes for a very efficient goniotomy experience. 
Additionally, stay tuned for future videos in the series that will feature what to expect in terms of success rates and the results of trabectome, the basic how-to steps of performing the trabectome surgery, and the when to use the device and in which patients. If you are interested in learning more about trabectome or in MIGS in general, if you're interested in improving outcomes and enhancing your approaches to patient selection, I invite you to check out my book, which is packed with my pearls, personal notes, steps to avoid, and action points to take to ease you into adopting a new procedure, whether that is trabectome or really any mix procedures, because there is a lot of mix overlap that is covered in the book. Links to more information about the building blocks of trabectome surgery, patient selection, are in the description box below, as well as a time-sensitive special discount that is available for you now. Thanks for watching iGlaucoma YouTube channel, a place where glaucoma innovation that is made easy for eye care professionals. Hey, oh, I forgot about that free gift. Click on the link below in the description area for a free MIG Success Secrets eBook. MIG Success Secrets can help both MDs and ODs familiarize themselves with MIGS procedures and devices. And this ebook includes case studies, personal notes, and pearls of common errors and good practice. It will help you advocate for your glaucoma patients. So click on the link below in the description box so you can get access to that ebook right now. All right, bye till next time.